Uh, my name is Janet Perlman. Um, I'm an animation director, um, writer, um, and uh, most of the time I spend doing animation. And I've done a lot of work uh, for the National Film Board of Canada and also independently. And I was born in Montreal, and that's where I'm working now. Well, that's funny that you say that. That very first film um, started with a piece of music. I found, um, and you know, you won't, I didn't bring that film to this festival. In fact, I need to find a way to, to restore it. But um, it was uh, an old recording of, of music, uh, orchestral music. It was ca um, called The Stripper, and it was stripping mu music that people stripped to. And I did a, a girls' exercise class to it. And they don't, it's only the teacher who takes off her clothes. Um, anyways, it was all based on music. So everything, there were no words, there were no sound effects, just the piece of music. And um, um, I kept on going back to that because I think uh, when I like a piece of music, it also has a structure already in it. And so you can structure your film <coughs> um, in relation to the music. And <coughs> the, the piece of music is your piece of film. And, it's, there's, it's not going to be longer, it's not going to be shorter, it's just going to be that. And um, I've stayed with that throughout. I don't always use music. In fact, sometimes I've made films without music at all. But um, very often I go back to um, music being created before the film is made and doing the animation to the music. Yeah, that one was um, in my favorite things that I love. Um, I just knew I had a lot of stuff that I liked that I wanted to make into a film, and it's really a film with no story. But I, I did have some uh, m musical friends in, and I was living in Boston at the time, um, the Handsome Brothers, um, and I commissioned a piece of music, and I said, well, I want this kind of old style, and it was a lot like um, uh, Leroy Anderson, who did all these this kind of music and other pieces of music as well and I asked for it was like I, I had I, I gave an order for I gave like I gave them a purchase order I would like 30 seconds of glamour 30 seconds of cute 30 seconds of brave 30 seconds you know and I gave them this kind of order and it could be in any order you want and then give me 30 seconds of whatever you want surprise me and they gave me this piece of music. <laughs> and then I storyboarded. I made the storyboard to this piece of music. Yes, yeah. Most of my work for a long time had been very, very carefully storyboarded and first scripted and storyboarded and reworked uh, many, many times, which, I'm, which I still do. But um, Sometimes I just want to forget all that and just animate. I love to animate, and um, uh, I, I found that because I think it's computers that really has offered me this freedom, that I can just decide to make a film one day, and I could have a film that day. Uh, it doesn't usually take me one day, but, but I could. I mean, it doesn't co I don't have to pay for anything anymore. It doesn't cost in film footage. Uh, there's no, there are no costs at all, and in fact, I've made a few films. Usually, they're very short because I can't give them a lot of time. Uh, but maybe made in a, a, a few weeks, um, short films that uh, I was able to find a soundtrack for, or use something that was found already, and uh, can make a film out of that. And it's just spontaneous, and um, I don't know. I've, uh, it's a very good way also to develop new techniques and find new ideas that I could bring, uh, make into longer films. That was actually a kind of funny story because um, I love, there's a, an animation festival that's very close to where I live in Montreal, in Ottawa. Um, every year I go to the Ottawa Animation Festival. But it's very nice to have a film there and it had been um, a few years, I hadn't had a film um, I hadn't finished a film, and um, uh, I suddenly thought, well, why don't I just make a film really fast, because, you know, I, I now know this computer program, and I can just do it. I can just do a film. So I started off, and um, 
it, I, the fact was that the entry was due very soon, but first the entry form was due and the film was due two weeks later. So I filled in the form just on the day that it was due and I called it, I gave it a, any old name and I put any old pictures for the graphics. I just, you know, took some stuff that I had and um, I started working on it and I didn't like, I mean, I just was wasting my time. It just was not very good. And so I decided to, you know, not have them have the trouble of saying, where is this film? Where is this film? So I went back to the website and I couldn't find a way to withdraw my entry. So I changed the title to Sorry, Film Not Ready and, um, uh, and left it at that. And a week later, I got an email saying, um, we still haven't received your film, Sorry, Film Not Ready, but we've extended the deadline for another week. And actually, I did make that film in that one week, and uh, or maybe it was two weeks at the most. Um, I, I suddenly said, well, I have to make that film. So I did. Well, I don't know. Try and find what you do best and do a lot of that. <laughs> I don't know. That means trying a lot of different things, not just going into a program and doing only what the program tells because it depends some program animation programs will teach you all different kinds of things and others will be um, streaming you towards a certain industry but make sure you try as many different kinds of things while you're if you're studying animation try as many different things as you can um, before you get um, <laughs> funneled into some path in animation um, just to just to see what the possibilities are, because they are there are. So